All right, guys. I'm feeding some of the monitors today, so I figured I'd see if we couldn't do a uh, monitor feeding video. The Nile is under here hiding, being a big sissy like always. Oh, there he goes. He got it. <laughs> he comes out and baths a good bit of the day, but when I come in the room and start, you know, doing a little bit of work with the reptiles, he always goes back in and hides. We'll come back to him in just a second and see if we can get him to eat a little bit more. Um, a little bit of good news. Last night I force fed the four uh, smaller Indonesian tree boas that are left. And I force fed them an entire pinky this time instead of just, I was doing the back leg of a mouse because it's easier to do. Um, but there's not as much nutrition as a whole mouse. But I actually successfully force fed all of them a pinky which is very good news. Um, Let's feed the savannah real fast. I'm feeding these chicks. He's always ready to eat. <laughs> Grab him one more. There you go, bud. I do like to play with them occasionally so that you know eating isn't so boring they get a little bit exercise. Um, I throw in some crickets every now and then just to have them run around and chase them just to get some exercise. I'm feeding him one chick, usually one chick in the middle of the week and one chick on the weekend, um, which is not a lot for a monitor but as you can see he's a very healthy size and if I feed him more he gets overweight. Occasionally I'll feed them two chicks on the weekend or I'll feed them some mice as well. I don't always feed just chicks to the monitors, but it is much better than feeding like ground turkey or anything else because it is a whole prey item that has all the guts and bones and everything that's great in it. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get him to come out this time. Ah, he's too fast. I can't get him. See, he just ripped that chick up there. Anyway, we'll leave him a few legs up here to eat a little bit later. I do, of course, like you've seen in my other videos, rip the chicks up. Um, but I still feed them every part of the chick. I just rip them up so it's easier for them to swallow. The Nile gets, uh, gets two chicks in the middle of the week, two chicks on the weekend, and then it just every now and then I'll throw him a chick because he's young and growing he can really afford to eat a lot um, the black tree monitors normally don't eat chicks they normally eat mice and dubia and some other insects occasionally but sometimes when I have all, I'll have a few extra legs and stuff I'll feed them They really seem to enjoy them. Let's see. I'm gonna give the female two heads. I wanna save the one leg for the snapping turtle. You can see she is ready to eat over here. Looks a little big for her, but she can get it down with no problem. Let me give one more of those heads to her. And just leave it there for her to eat. Um, I need to do a care video on these guys. One thing I will say is that majority of these guys are wild caught. Um, you can see he's just making a mess up there. Most of these guys are wild caught, so I do not recommend um, buying them as pets. If you're a novice, they're hard to keep. Um, they're, I think, fairly endangered in the wild. Not super endangered or anything. But uh, definitely not something you want to take out of the wild to keep as your pet, especially if you don't think you're prepared to keep them. Um, I don't think that I was prepared to keep them except for the fact that I had an, a guy that was 
probably one of the leading experts in tree monitors in the country, I'd say, um, who've been dealing with them for like 20 plus years. So I had his guidance, but without his guidance, I don't think I would have, I would have chose to get such a hard animal to take care of. Um, I got this last little leg. We'll feed the snapping turtle before we go. Oh, I need to turn his lights on for the day. I actually have a video of him eating some goldfish too that maybe I'll tack on to the end here. He's a beast. So yeah, I'll try to put that video of him eating the goldfish on the end. And uh, other than that, guys, take it easy. Alright guys, I figured I'd do a quick little video real fast of uh, if I can get the turtle getting some of these goldfish. <coughs> Sorry, the tank is pretty dirty. I really need to get a glass cleaner. It's the bad thing about basking lamps is they cause algae to grow real bad. So, anyway. You can see this is what he does. He'll get up really close to him, then he'll start moving really, really slow and creep up on him. Bam. <laughs> There's one down. He used to have a really hard time catching goldfish, but nowadays he does it pretty easily. I'm not the goldfish, buddy. Well, once I leave him alone, they'll all be gone within a few minutes. <laughs> he thinks he can get out. See if he can get one more. There's one more. It's funny, you can see him spitting out <laughs> scales. Well, there you go. I figured I'd try to get a video of that. Um, I'll hopefully be doing some more videos pretty soon. I got done with school yesterday, so I should have a decent amount of free time on my hands, so we'll see.